We're back. Cisco called the top second half idea at Morgan Stanley. The firm sees continued upside during the CapEx cycle. It's one of our calls of the day today. Shannon, you own that top second half idea. Big words. Target Love 50, to hear it. Target 50. <laughs> yeah. the, the top second half idea is only going to get you 7% from here, though. I don't know if that matches up to what I would expect from a top second half idea. <laughs> Well, whether it's the second half or the next couple of years, Scott, you know, I think that the uh, the knock on Cisco is that everybody was talking about everything moving to the cloud. And to be honest with you, hybrid environments are going to persist. They're very well um, situated to take advantage of that to to, in, you know, take advantage of additional outlays. Great dividend. Um, free cash flow supports that dividend. Uh, I, I love the stock and I love it for a lot longer term than just the next six months. So, Pete, you own Cisco as well. Uh, what do you think about this top second yeah. half idea? But again, price target 57 bucks. So we're not talking about a monster rise from here, according at least to this note. Yeah, yeah very stable company that, that we all know. And Chuck Robb has done an unbelievable job, I think, over the years. But performance has not been as great as so many others. But it is old school tech, Scott. I love this name. I bought this name a little over a month ago. Stock was virtually right about where it is right now. You do get a decent dividend yield. I create dividend yields by selling calls against it every single week or month, whatever works out. So I like this name. I don't feel nervous about this name to the downside whatsoever. And when I look at the P.E., it trades very inexpensive still, especially if you want to trade against some of the other big cap tech names. This name continues to trade at a P.E. that's very, very palatable. But that's probably why we're not seeing as much upside. You create that upside by selling options. Man, you shouldn't have sold Amex, Pete. You sold it on February 23rd. Yes, I should. The, you should have. The stock's up 25 percent yeah. since then. They got Goldman Sachs upgraded okay. it today with a 30% bump. Well, here's the deal. Okay. So American Express, great company. I absolutely love them. I was in this stock, and it was trading at a 10 multiple when I first got in. Then all of a sudden, the multiple, in my opinion, got much higher. Yes, it's gone up 25%. Compare this name to Capital One, another credit card type company going head to head. If you look at the three month, the year to date, the one year or the two year, you're going to see who outpaces the other one. And oh, by the way, I look over at Capital One trading at nine or 10 times earnings. And I look now at American Express at 26 times earnings. I like where I am and I'd rather be where I am than American Express right now. We told our producers today, I will own Capital One over Amex all day long. Pete just put his words with that too. All, all right, day long. Good stuff.